what's going on guys and in today's video we are going to do the knife only challenge on cold war zombies so for this challenge i decided to pick the map firebase c as i consider this to be the hardest cold war zombies map out of the ones that have been released this is because of things like the defense rounds and the boss zombies that enter the map such as the mimics because knifing the mimics and uh, manglers are um, on the higher rounds to, from like round 15 plus can be quite challenging especially when it takes multiple knives to kill them so you know what this is going to be a very fun video right right unfortunately this isn't quite the case so basically before i get into that the rules for this challenge are pretty simple i can only use the knife but i can use everything else i can use perks um all that kind of stuff ammo mods anything i want no problem at all with that but this challenge is, um, let's just say, not the easiest, because I thought, you know what, Cold War Zombies, not the easiest, especially on a map like Five Base Z. And it can also be quite depressing to do, as you'll find out in this video. So, yeah, fun times. Um, the medals for this challenge are as follows. For me to get a bronze medal, I need to get to round 15. For me to get a silver medal, I need to get to round 20. And for the good old gold medal, I need to get to round 30. Let's see if I can achieve this monumental goal. So you've probably noticed that my knife is actually a blue la rarity already. And to be quite honest with you, it doesn't really make, mu make much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. I'll probably still get to the same round I'm going to get to anyway. Because the knife does remain a one hit for quite a while regardless of how rare it is to my knowledge with all the power-ups. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. But anyway, let's move on to the actual content of the video. So in the early rounds, it's quite simple really. I just need to turn on all the ether reactors so I can get the power on for the map. And once I've got the power on for the map, I can start packer punching, upgrading, getting perks. Just that simple stuff really. So I'll be back with you guys once that's completed. So, already, as you can see here, I've managed to turn on all the generators, and now I've got to go back to Ravenoff. So, basically, when I go back to Ravenoff, I can access Pack-a-Punch and perks and all that good stuff in the starting room. There's not really much going on in this gameplay, to be quite honest with you. There's hardly any zombies left, um, or is it... I can't even remember at this point, but... There's not many zombies left, there's not much, really much going on, and I'm just running around like, like the map, around the map with a knife, and... Yeah, Mimics have started spawning already, and there are two knife kills, so that's fun. And yeah, oh, it looks like it's the beginning of the round. Oopsie daisy, but yeah, Mimics are fun. Yeah, they're, they're not they're not at all, they're an absolute nightmare to deal with. Um, they start off okay, but you'll see later in the gameplay exactly what I mean by that. So, um, I've skipped to round 15. I know this is quite a big skip, but not really much happened in the early rounds. I was just grabbing perks, running around the map with a knife, you know, the same old, same old. It's still one knife kill at this point, so I'm pack a punch level 1 so far, and this is the round, round 15, where the mangler starts spawning in. Now, the Mangler, to be honest with you, is the easier out of the two enemies. As you can see, Mimics are still not too bad. They're still a two-knife kill or so. But later in the rounds, what Mimics do, it really wires them up, is they do that grappling thing, and you end up getting slapped up by the zombies really, really quickly. Because I forgot in Cold War that when you're killing zombies, um, in in, ter like in the later rounds, when you're meleeing, they hit very, very quickly, do a lot more damage than I thought they did. So... You know, Cold War Zombies may be easy if you've got a gun, but when using melee weapons, it can actually be quite challenging. You've got to be very, very careful, because if you get caught for whatever reason, you're screwed. So, the Mangler's in the map here, you just sort of fire his cannon there, and to be quite honest with you, not hard to deal with. Um, it's just one knife, or two knives, something like that, nothing too crazy. They're much slower than Mimics as well, uh, making them a lot easier to deal with. When they run, it's not even that bad either, and as you can see, I killed him in two hits, and yeah... Um, I've achieved around 15 gold, um, not gold medal, bronze medal, which is really, really good as well. So, yeah, that's something. But as you can see here, it's taken me much longer to complete the rounds already. And the elemental pop is the only thing that's sort of helping me at the moment. Because um, I have to, like, step back every time I knife. Um, knifing is very risky in this game. Even though it does heal you in this game, it's still risky because the zombies um, hit very quickly. But yeah, I reached the milestone as you can see, I'm on round 16 now and I'll be back with you guys when I'm on round 20 to let you know how it's all going. So fast forward into round 20, we're on one of the tower defence rounds. So there was actually one on round 13 but to be honest with you I didn't really see the point of recording it because it was actually fairly, fairly easy. 
But Rao 20 stiff, and we're at the silver medal milestone, which is really good. Um, things are going really well. I'm on pack punch level 2 purple rarity. Uh, but obviously, there's rules of this challenge. I can't use the score streaks. And to be honest with you, the second tower defense round isn't too bad. But the zombies are a lot more overwhelming. So I'll show you this gameplay in a second what I mean by that. So they come out of those two um, dark ether portals there. They're in the back. Um... And to be honest, I, feel, I thought at first, you know, it's going to be really, really simple. There's no problem whatsoever. And I don't die in this, by the way. I mean, I don't think I die, but I'm pretty sure I don't die in this gameplay. But there's a lot of zombies that spawn in this area. And I mean a lot. They all come running up the stairs very, very quickly and get overwhelmed very, very fast. And I've still got Ring of Fire active. I forgot to point that as well. I'd use Ring of Fire for quite a while. It didn't really help me very much, though, because the knife was one shot kill anyway. I do change it to Frenzied Guard eventually. But yeah, as you can see, the brain mod really does help here. Without this, it would have been much more difficult. So Elemental Pop coming in clutch there. I've actually not put an ammo mod on my knife yet, which is probably not the smartest decision. I probably will do eventually um, late in this gameplay. But yeah, as you can see, the generator got pretty badly damaged here just by a few zombies alone. And there's still some spawning in, so it's not even over yet. But that brain mod's coming in clutch. Then Mimics start spawning in. And you've got to be careful with Mimics. So what they do is they grab you. Sometimes they grab you into hordes of zombies. Yeah, like that, you can get a lot of um and get damaged quite easily so, but yeah quite a few mimics do spawn in and because of the mimics spawning in they were able to damage the generator um even more which caused me a lot of problems but then luckily because this is cold war zombies and they like being nice to you you have to put the um they then chart target the generator that um is in the map that you powered on at the start of the game but the issue with this is if they attack it and they damage it too much it can actually cause the game to um not the game but the game to become a lot more difficult you've got to repower the generators and doing this with a knife will prove fairly challenging if i was to be doing that because the zombies are running very quickly and they kill you 100 miles an hour if you're not careful so yeah uh, round 20 for the most part went well just got a bit hectic but nothing i couldn't handle and yeah i'll see you guys um in another part of the video where things don't go so well so when I started getting into sort of the mid-20s, so in this gameplay here I'm in round 22, the big issue was not the difficulty as such at the moment, it, yeah the zombies are hard, they do hit fast, I've said that before, but these rounds take a very, very long time to complete, I'm talking like 5 to 10 minutes per round and that might not seem a lot long time um, on paper when you guys are watching from an outsider's perspective when you've got to do multiple of these they take a long time to do it feels like you're playing the game forever and ever and ever they become repetitive and it's just knifing over and over and over again and the zombies die very slowly because you're hitting them one by one in effect and you've got to be careful when you do as well because if I stand still or go in the wrong position I'm getting whacked to death and I will die so you know what, this is just me running around, this is the strategy, just running around this courtyard, around the helicopter over and over, because it's the safest point in the map. If I was to cab, this would never ever work, I'd be overwhelmed very very quickly. And yeah, I've still got Ring of Fire on, but this is about to change. So in this gameplay here, I'm on round 29, um, a nuke's just got off, so a lot of the zombies have just died, and I managed to get my knife up to tier 3 pack a punch, and... Legendary rarity means I've got everything I need to get. I've also changed my um, power up to Frenzied Guard. This is because when you activate Frenzied Guard, the zombies walk at shambling speed, so a very slow speed, and I can knife them much more quickly in the later round. So but I'm really impressed that I'm on round 29. Things are looking up. Um, things are going pretty well, um, but the mimics are becoming much more of a problem as you can see they're dragging me into hordes like that Sometimes I get lucky sometimes I don't but when when I do get dragged into hordes Sometimes loads of zombies will hit me as the mimic is dragging me into the horde Gotta be very very careful people think cold war is easy and yes It is easy but when you're doing things like this where you strip yourself down to the bare minimum It can become a very very difficult challenge um, Especially with these mimics. Um, I'm not die so far which might sound quite ironic ironic but that does change trust me don't get me wrong it does change so finally i made it to round 30 so i achieved the gold medal and i was really excited about this until i realized it was the next tower defense round now i know what you might be thinking oh it's just going to be the same as the last one but not on firebase z i mean it's the only map with tower base rounds defense things anyway but um 
yeah, a thing called an order spawns in. And let's just say this causes me a few issues. I don't actually die during this gameplay, nothing like that, but you can't really do much with this. I mean, all I can really do is just kill the zombies and let the order damage the generator and completely screw me over. And then I've got to turn the generator back on afterwards, which is another another challenge in itself. But I've got to be careful with the orders of because he launches dogs at you, he can kill you very easily. I've got to be very careful. And obviously there's loads and loads of zombies spawning and you look at it, it's absolutely crazy. And the fact that I've got the order attacking me during this is absolutely wild. Um, Frenzied Guard just does help as you can see in the gameplay, the zombies go very very slow and it makes it an easy knife to um, remove the threat. But that's not the point, like, with the order in the map now it just makes things a lot more difficult and yeah, and there's manglers and there's mimics and everything that's spawning, so this does get quite tricky and it does get overwhelming and you'll see in a second that, um, let's just say that I don't, I'm not able to defend this, it's not happening because you've got to kill the order to end the round and there's no way I'm killing the order, I know that for a fact. So, as you can see in this gameplay here, I'm desperately trying to knife the order, even though the reality is this is clearly not going to work, so I'm simply not doing enough damage, and yeah, he completely kill destroys the generator along with all the zombies, and he gets sucked back into the dark, e the dark ether, I should say. So yeah, um, round 31, I've got a generator I need to turn on, I paused the game because I think it's time for a break, and I'll come back to this in a second. So yeah, as you can see I'm on round 31 and I begin to power up the generator and surprisingly enough this doesn't go too badly because I'm not going to lie, a lot of the zombies were distracted by the um, generator itself so I just had to focus on the zombies that were coming towards me. Just kept running around in the circle, knifing the zombies and it wasn't really much of a problem. I thought this was going to be an absolute nightmare of all the dogs, the mimics and the manglers that were spawning all at the same time. But it was still one knife kill on round 31 which didn't make this too terrible. I was thinking this could be a new strategy. Let them destroy the generators on purpose and then kill the zombies. It sounds like a great idea. But... For the most part, yes, it's very, very simple. There's not really much to say about this part. I do succeed in this. There's not really much point in showing that. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys when something else happens. Hopefully it's a bit more interesting. So here's an example of how wrong this challenge can really go. So as you can see, I'm running around. No problem whatsoever. But things don't go to plan. Um, let's just say in a second, you're about to witness first of many deaths. Um, I'm not going to show all the deaths in this gameplay, but this is an example of why this challenge can be very, very difficult. So as you can see, I've got to kill zombies one by one to be very, very careful. I've actually got Shatter Blast equipped to make it a bit easier, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. It only kills a few zombies every now and then. Um, so as you can see, things are going one up and then boom. But that, that's it. It just happens so suddenly because the zombies hit that quickly and I've got to use tombstones, tombstone of all the put all the things to help me out. This happens multiple times and I have to keep me buying my perks and stuff like that. Um, I don't know why I ended the round there, that was stupid. I'm on round 34 now, but this is where the challenge gets a lot harder. It is still one hit kill, but these boss zombies make it very, very challenging. The mimics cause me issues and the manglers to be found they fire the cannon. Because if you fire the cannon, they damage you and the zombie just gets you instantly, no problem. And um, your armor gets destroyed. Like You can have three pieces of armor one minute and then boom, it all goes. But yeah, I bought all my perks back. And also, you've got to bear in mind, when I die multiple times, I've got less and less, I have less and less money to spend on the perks. It costs a lot to get all the perks, and yeah. So yeah, I've got to escape the first room now and get back to it. So yeah, this is my final stand. Got no perks. Yeah, I do buy Juggernog, but um, let's just say I don't really latch much longer. I've only got Juggernog, no shield, and the zombies ever. It's round 39, I'm completely surrounded. Mimics, Manglers, the whole shebang. Um, yeah, Mimics are a nightmare because you've got to be so careful, they hit really quickly, it takes like five knives at this point to even take one down, and yeah, they swipe, they get the, that's what they do, they grab you, and then yeah, then another Mimic came behind me and it killed me, so yeah, it was the Mimics, the Mimics was my demise, but you know, I'm really proud that I got to round 30, I probably could have done it a lot better to be honest, now thinking about it in hindsight, but I was very, very tired, I was recording this at 2am in the morning, and I was really tired, I wanted to go to bed, um, but you know what, I'm really proud that I did it, um, really did have a good fun with it for the most part, even though it got a bit repetitive, um, 
But yeah, that's part of the process. Challenges can be boring, repetitive, and, and difficult all at the same time. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out.